My name is Moise Ahmed, and I'm an applications engineer here at Siemens EDA Saskatoon. As an applications engineer, my role uh, consists of really dealing with our customers. And Siemens has a lot of products that they, that they have built and that they, uh, customers buy. And each product has a team of applications engineer dedicated to specialize in that certain area and help customers who use that uh, product to uh, make sure that, uh, the product, that the software is working for them and that it's helping solve their problems. So as an application engineer, I spend a lot of my time on calls with customers who are using our product and uh, making sure that the tool is doing what it's supposed to with them and it's, uh, it's solving all their problems. And if they are encountering any challenges or bugs, I, I'm able to unblock them and make sure that you know, they're able to do their work. Siemens EDA, so EDA stands for Electronic Design Automation. And this industry is really about anyone who designs chips, there's a certain life cycle that that chip goes through from the beginning all the way to the very end when it's ready to be put inside uh, the piece of technology. And so Siemens EDA, we develop uh, products and softwares that help those designers and our customers who are you know, the top semiconductor customers all around the world. We help them to verify and make sure that, the, that their chips are working the way they need to work. Um, so whether, whether you know, that, that phone or that piece of technology is meant to uh, be in a minus 50 degrees like Saskatoon or all, all the way across the world operating in uh, the deserts. They, they want to make sure that their technology is uh, able to endure all the environmental conditions, temperature, voltages, other stuff that, that, that they need to take into consideration uh, so that it's working perfectly. My typical work day, um, it, it can change from day to day. Some days I'm, I'm waking up early because we have European customers, so I'm on uh, calls with them at 6 or 7 a.m. And so some days, uh, you know, I start work later because I don't have any of those earlier calls. A lot of my day is taken up by uh, calls from customers, so some of them come in uh, ad hoc, so they have a problem and, and they need you know someone to talk to, so or s someone to uh, sh show their problems to someone and get get them unblocked. Other times, it's just a regular scheduled call just to see how someone is doing and making sure that that everything's working and and uh, and uh, taking care of our accounts. And then a lot of times, we are also uh, doing reproduction of certain bugs that we see to make sure that you know that what the customer is seeing we're also going to re replicate it on our end and then make sure that that gets ticketed so that our R&D department can uh, find a fix for that and then deploy that solution back to the customers. Part of my work also uh, involves uh, managing accounts so as an applications engineer the customers that we work with we we are, we are assigned some of those accounts so that uh, we I need to understand what's going on at each account you know how, how many people are using the tool what licenses they're using how that's being used and trying to make sure that the customers are getting the, the, the maximum benefit from our tools and if there's anything we can do to make sure that that they're happy with that so as uh, my career journey that led me to Siemens ever since high school I knew that I wanted to do something with math or, or physics I was always good in math and physics I was interested in that stuff I didn't know where exactly I wanted to go, um, but you know, getting to senior years of high school, grade 11, 12, I, my mind was kind of uh, going towards engineering, and chose electrical engineering as my as my field of study. I, I was actually really more in interested in the, the theoretical stuff, so maths and physics, so the pure maths. But um, I wasn't sure if there was any job <laughs> opportunities uh, in Saskatoon with the uh, doing that background. So I chose electrical engineering because I, I, I thought it was the hardest one and, and the most uh, interesting one. I did my bachelor's over here at the University of Saskatchewan. And then after I was done, I worked around the province in um, oil and gas and mining uh, companies for a little bit. And my previous role, I was actually working as a data scientist for a mining company and helping, uh, you know, so I got some exposure to machine learning over there and some programming over there. And uh, after a while, uh, there was an opportunity that came up over here, so I applied and, uh, and somehow I got in. <laughs> to become an applications engineer, I would say you, you do need to have a passion for uh, learning. So um, this industry, there's a lot of stuff. It's a very vast industry and you're not going to learn any of it uh, uh, in, in school or in, in your university. There may be some aspects of this that you do learn, some technical aspects, but having the passion to learn and keep, keep on learning new things, that's a, a good requirement for being an applications engineer. Because every day we're, we see new problems that come up and we need to have a good problem solving sense of uh, skill to understand you know, what the problem is, why it's happening, how we can solve it, and then actually executing that you know, that, that, that method. The other main thing I would also say as an application engineer is communications. 
you need to be able to communicate you know the technical points to a customer or to a client uh, t taking taking their uh, technical points and communicating it back to the r d department and to you know your colleagues or or other stakeholders that you're working with so being able to you know take something that's really complex simplify it down to something that's simple so that it's there's an easy uh, back and forth between different parties so just having strong communication skills is also something that I, I would say uh, is important. The the background of, you know, the engineering or the or the, all that stuff, that's, uh, you know, everyone kind of picks that up as they go. And it's uh, it's not the most important thing. I'm not saying it's not important, but people have different levels of technical uh, backgrounds in which uh, when they come into this role, everyone gets trained up to a certain level, up to, up to a certain standard. So I wasn't the smartest student in my class, so I certainly got trained up to here. So, uh, you know, it's, it's doable for that. STEM is, in, again, as I mentioned earlier, um, com uh, being able to communicate is a big part of this job, right? So it's not just for introverts. So people who love to talk, this is also for them because th that gives them the chance to do what they love and, <laughs> and get paid to do it. If you love uh, talking, this is a job for you. If you don't love talking, there's also other aspects of this job that you can do uh, where you don't have to be customer facing all the time. You can be more behind the screen and then solving problems that way. A, a wide range of whether you're an extrovert or an introvert or um, you know whether whatever your background is. I think uh, Siemens has a place for everyone. My favorite Part of my work is honestly uh, not the work itself, but the flexibility that Siemens provides. Um, so I recently had a baby earlier this year. So, uh, you know, just having the ability to uh, sometimes work from home or, you know, having the flexibility of, you know, going, leaving during the middle of the day to take him for a doctor's appointment or whatever the case may be. Siemens provides that flexibility for their, its employees. And then no matter what your situation is, you're always able to balance your personal life as uh, with your work life. The other aspect I love about my work is it's, it's a good mixture of uh, technical, business and uh, social skills that, that I need to exercise and practice on a daily basis. So I'm, I'm learning about the most uh, recent or most advanced updates in, in the tech world. So whatever process that the, that the new chips are being made on, but also understanding how business uh, side of things works. So a lot of people, when they go into um, STEM fields, they think, you know, I, I, I like the math, I can do this, the math, the math uh, you know, solve the problems in math. But then that's only you know part of the uh, thing. The other part of working in the real in the real world is understanding how business works and how you know um, how companies have to negotiate and interact and, and do all that stuff. So I'm also learning a lot about that, which I love because at some point you you're not going to be just doing uh, you know equations anymore. You're you're going to be have, having to make those tough decisions and then also just sharpening my communication skills on a daily basis. That's also a thing. And then one of my favorite things about this role in particular is I get to travel. I, I love traveling, and this was one of the reasons why I, I uh, applied over here. It was because as an application engineer, you get to travel to customers, and they're all around the world. So um, I recently I was in uh, Los Angeles, California, first time I went there. And so, you know, Siemens says, you know, go there, meet with customers, and, uh, and, and you get to kind of get a mini vacation out of that, too. Then I'm going again to another place in a few weeks, and then after that, we also have European accounts. So sometimes you get to go to Europe, and and uh, and you're doing work, and you're also enjoying, you know, the uh, the 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 world itself. So that's that's what I love about the shop. I've heard of uh, Saskatchewan or Saskatoon being like the Silicon Valley of the prairies or or whatnot. There's definitely growth in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan in terms of tech. Over here, we've had a lot of startups in, in the past which have grown and, you know, they've, they've taken on a lot of students uh, or hiring on a lot of people in the tech uh, industry. But it's not just tech companies itself. It's also the, your a standard, um, you know, other industries like mining, oil and gas, um, consulting firms, uh, even, even banks and, you know, these insurance companies. If you go online right now, a lot of these companies, they're hiring tech roles because the way the world is moving, you have cloud computing, you have a lot of data, data, and there's, you know, there's buzzwords like machine learning, AI, and everything. So everyone wants to move towards what's, what's trending and what's new. And then for that, they need people with the technical skills. And so Saskatchewan is right because we have a world-class university over here. We have good programs over here that teach you all the skills you need. And then we have all these businesses and, and, and uh, industries over here that are working on these leading edge technology projects. And so, you know, I think there's a lot of potential for tech in Saskatoon, it's growing. The advice I'd give to high school students um, would kind of go across all boards uh, is that get active in high school, right? So don't just focus on uh, your, your uh, studies. Also focus on, you know, joining clubs or, you know, getting, getting out there and getting different experiences. One thing that makes a person stand out 
is someone who's well-rounded. So someone who has experience in not just you know, everyone at some at some level can do you know uh, the the technical stuff, but also being again being able to socialize, being able to talk, and being able to draw on your experiences as if you were part of a sports team or if you were part of some club, using that experience and you know w rounding yourself as as an individual. I think that's really important because everyone can, everyone's going to study, everyone's going to come out with a high school diploma at the end. So have something else, you know, uh, uh, that, that you love, that you're passionate about.